Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Have you ever met this problem like me? When you try to update your iPad via computer or just restart the iPad, the screen suddenly freezes, goes black, or gets stuck on the Apple logo interface. It's really annoying so I searched on Google, and it told me three tips that can work. Let's get them. The first method is from Apple official, it is to force restart your iPad. If you have an iPad without a home button, simply press and quickly release the volume buttons, then press and hold the top button until the device starts to restart. For iPads with a home button, press and hold both the home button and the top button until you see the Apple logo. Now, your iPad should restart and be back to normal. If the issue persists, no worries. We can try the next method also from Apple official. Connect your iPad to a PC or Mac and launch iTunes or Finder. Next, we need to put the iPad into the recovery mode. For iPads without a home button, press and release the volume up button, then press and release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until the support page appears. Now, we have entered recovery mode. At this time, a pop-up message will appear on your computer, asking you to update or restore your iPad. Choose the Update option and confirm it. iTunes or Finder will start downloading the firmware, which may take around a few minutes depending on your internet speed. After the download is complete, iTunes will automatically update your iPad. But it's very long, so we won't present the whole process here. If you find iTunes difficult to use, any fix also cloud be a good choice. AnyFix is a top-rated iOS system repair and recovery software for home use. It can effectively fix issues like iPad stuck on the Apple logo, iPad goes black screen, or iPad black screen. The download link is in the description. Launch it on your computer after you download it and connect the iPad to it. Go to System Repair and click the Repair Now button. Here you will see many problem categories. Go to the screen stuck which includes the iPad stuck on Apple logo problem. After that, click on the Start Now button. I will go for standard repair here because I don't want to lose my data. Then we need to download or import firmware before starting the repair. You can see your device info here and customize the download path. Click on the download button. The downloading is in process, please wait patiently. After the firmware is downloaded, click the Start System Repair button to continue. It may cost some time, please don't unplug your USB cable during the process. Now your iPad is repaired, you can see that your iPad is not stuck on the Apple logo anymore, it restarts and is back to normal. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get more tips, and leave your comment if you have any questions.